call the meeting of the Laurel Island School Board to order. Please stand for the silence. Presentation. We have a motion to uh, cable table P six A. Table P six A. Question on the motion. Roll call. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mr. Raymond? No. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Santor? No. Mrs. Glad? No. Mr. Lehman? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? No. 4 4. Motion fails. We have a motion to table on the addendum items one. On the green sheet. Do we have a motion to table? Which one are you talking about? On the green sheet, one. We already did one. No, no, we didn't. No, we didn't do anything on the agenda. Just did the 
On jest jedyny. Mam jakieś pytania? Tak. Pytania, pytania. Roll call. Mrs. Borgs? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Beale? Yes. Mr. Lehman? Yes. Mrs. Santor? No. Mrs. Glad? No. Mr. Raymond? No. Mr. Suffolk? No. 4-4? Four, four. Motion to table item 2 on the green sheet. Question on the motion. Roll call. Mrs. Borgs? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Glad? No. Mr. Lehman? Yes. Mr. Raymond? No. Mrs. Santor? No. Mr. Suffolk? No. 4-4. Four, four. Recognition of Laurel Hodden stakeholders. Anybody like to speak for the board on an item on the agenda? Approval of the minutes of the regular meeting of June 20th, 2019. We have a second on that? Second. All those in favor? Approval of the attendance records of committee meetings and work session to work session August 5th, 2019. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. The uh, Laurel Island School Board meetings will now be held on, uh, will be televised on YouTube. Just go to South Indian Township on YouTube and uh, you can get our meetings on, on that. Superintendent's report. Thank you, Mr. Sutton. First, I'd like to congratulate Ms. Giovanna Bellino from Laurel Highlands Cold Queen representative for 2019. Good luck to Ms. Galino. Congratulations, Mr. Bellino. Um, she's the daughter of one of our employees. We wish her the best of luck. Along those lines, we would also like to congratulate a past Ms. Cole Queen and Laurel Highlands graduate, Ms. Alyssa Gallagher, who is the newly crowned 2019 International Junior Miss International Miss. She is an LA graduate of the class of 2015 and traveled to Orlando, Florida, July 8th through 13th to compete for the international title. She completed she competed against 52 girls from all around the world competing girls from the United States of America, as well as countries such as Australia and South America. The International Junior Miss Scholarship Program values service to the community as much as academic achievement and participation in extracurricular activities. It strive and hope to continue to inspire girls at all ages to always believe in their dreams. Once again, congratulations to Ms. Alyssa Gallagher for that distinction. Great work. Kindergarten orientation and bus run will take place at each elementary school on Wednesday, August the 21st, from 10 to 11.30 a.m. Students who wish to ride the practice bus run should report to the designated bus stop by 9.30 a.m. Parents may ride the bus with their child for this practice run. And we hope to have all kindergartners and their parents out there ready to go. Um, it's a good event. And I think that it's well received both by the students and by the parents. Uh, we hope to see you out there. That concludes my report, Mr. Sutton. Thank you, uh, Dr. Wallace. Academic Foundation Report. Uh, Mrs. Cavis is not present. Strategic Plan and Board Policy Committee. Yes, if I can go down to uh, Board Policy, I have several policies. The first policy I'd like to make a motion is Board Policy 1A, the revision to student use of tobacco and nicotine policy. I'd like to put that in the form of the motion. Sir. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Those opposed, motion carries. The next motion I'd like to make is for board policy 2A, the revision to employees and use of tobacco and nicotine policy. I'd like to again put that in the form of policy. Sorry. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. Um, the next motion is for board policy 3A, revision to student non-discrimination in school classroom practices and policy. That's exhibit C, again, in the form of a motion. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. The next policy is board policy for a motion for A, revision to school hazing policy. That's exhibit D. Again, in the form of a policy. Yeah. Like Question on the motion. Me. All those in favor? Aye. Those Aye. opposed, Aye. motion carries. I'd like to make a motion for board policy 5A, revision to school student controlled substances paraphernalia policy, which is exhibit E in the form of a policy. I'd like to make that motion. Yeah. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. And the final board policy is 6A. It's the first reading of the e-cigarettes and vaping policy, exhibit F. Again, in the form of the policy, I'd like to make that motion. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. That concludes my report, Mr. Sapper. Thank you. Curriculum Committee. Item, item C1I, opening events are planned for the start of the 2019-2020 school year. That can be found in Exhibit G. That's just informational. Item C2A, approve successful bidders for the elementary after school program in conjunction with the 21st Century Learning Grant found in Exhibit H. I'd like to put that into the form of a motion. Second. Question on the motion. Roll call. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Vlad? Yes. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. Eight yes. Item C3A, approved dual enrollment pilot program with Penn State University. I'd like to put that into the form of a motion. Second. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? The motion carries. Item C4A, approved the pillars of learning found in Exhibit I. I'd like to put that into the form of a motion. Second. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? The motion carries. I could, Mr. Sepik, I would just like to make the public aware that the pillars of learning are items that the administration feels are part of our district DNA. And those are, every student is going to be entitled to active teacher engagement. Every student will be entitled to a teacher checking for understanding. Every I mean, every student will be um, obligated to receive, create an environment of respect and rapport, and every student will have maximizing instructional opportunities from their teacher. And that is something that we're promoting and have promoted last year and will continue to promote moving forward. Those are things that we feel are non-negotiables for our students and our staff from A to B will be abiding by these pillars of learning. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Wallace. That concludes my report, Mr. Buildings and grounds. BGI, update on the school projects. I am going to let uh, Mr. Wallace talk about that. Um, right now, we are approximately 14 days to 10 days away from our Clark roof completion. And today, even with the rain that we have had and the roof being under construction, um, they've been very diligent in how they have operated. We have not received any water in the building thus far. Therefore, we are anticipating, once they turn the building over to us, to have a dry building. And that will be the first time in a long time that Clark has been dry. So we are very excited about that. In regards to the middle school air conditioning project and boiler project, that project should be completed somewhere between late September, maybe early October. We need to make sure that all of the valves and all of the temperatures and the water and the chillers are operating effectively. And we did have somewhat of a hold back on some valves that were overlooked during the, um, during the um, estimated phase, and those had to be ordered, so we are just now receiving those. So that put us back a couple of weeks, but we are moving forward with that. In addition, um, all the school's grounds, the buildings are being cleaned, sanitized. I've been in the buildings the last few weeks, and I can tell you that the floors, the uh, desks, the rooms 
are very clean, they're very sanitized. And I'd like to congratulate our custodial staff on a job well done. I know they're really working hard and getting the job done so that when we open on the first day of school, we have buildings that are conducive to learning. So that's my update on um, the sports. Thank you. Okay, and just that, I want to thank Mr. Blaine for following up on following uh, the high school with the fire alarm testing, grass maintenance, daily maintenance and repair, summer cleaning in the buildings, as Mr. Wall said, uh, HVAC uh, project at the middle school, fire alarm testing. Fire alarm testing has been going through all the schools. And uh, just the regular daily maintenance. There's any time that somebody has an issue with uh, the grass cutting and anything else in the school, I wish they would contact Mr. Galino or myself so we can, you know, repair these problems. So I appreciate it. That ends my report. My name is Mudge and Tanson, Taxation Committee. Uh, yes, I'd like to make a motion to approve the Bank Reconciliation and Board Summary Report on Exhibit J. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? The motion carries. I'd like to make a motion for the approval of payment of bills found in Exhibit K. Second. Question on the motion. Roll call. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mrs. DeAndrea? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. Eight days. I'd like to make a motion to approve the payment of the GOB bills on an exhibit now. Second. Question on the motion. Roll call. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mrs. DeAndrea? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. Eight days. The investment report on an exhibit M is informational. I'd like to make a motion to approve the federal report on Exhibit yes. N. Second. Question on the motion. Roll call. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mr. Seth? Yes. Eight yes. Make a motion to approve the student activity funds and athletic funds on Exhibit O. Second. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed, the motion carries. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Mr. Food Service Committee. I'd like to put into the form of a motion FS1A, which is the cafeteria report found in Exhibit P. Second. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed, the motion carries. F I'd like to put into the form of a motion FS2A, which is the selection of the milk slash dairy product vendor. Second. Question on the motion. Roll call. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. Eight days. FS3 is a What's that? What motion to include who that vendor is? It's United Dairy. Yeah, that motion should include United Dairy. Okay. Uh, thank you. FS3 is informational. The free and reduced lunch applications will once again be web-based this year, so parents will be able to go to the site and apply online. Information will also be sent home with students. If you do not have access to a computer, please contact your building principal or Mr. Davis, the food service director. And that ends my report, Mr. Shepard. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Glenn. Security and transportation. This is Bill. Second. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Does that conclude your report, Mrs. Bill? Yes. Human Resources Committee. Uh, this is Glad. Personnel and Labor Relations Pro Professional Personnel. E1A, approved substitute teachers for the 2019-2020 school year found in Exhibit R. These would be regular certified substitutes and emergency certified substitutes. Second. Question on motion, roll call. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mr. Lehman? Yes. 
Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Borges? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. Eight yes. Two I is informational. Nicole Bryson, English teacher at the high school, will be returning to her position at the beginning of the 2019-2020 school year. P3A, I'd like to put this in the form of a motion, the acceptance with regret the resignation of Mrs. Mrs. Kate Weimer, Marshall Elementary School teacher, effective immediately. Ms. Weimer has nine plus years of dedicated service to our district. Second. Question on the motion, all those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Ms. Weimer, for your service. We appreciate it. P4 is informational, informational and also requires action, the request for retirements, other leaves, and resignations. I'd like to put into the form of a motion to approve the request for a professional employee aid for a full year of sabbatical leave for restoration of health for the 2019-2020 school year. Second. Question of motion. All those in favor? Aye. As opposed, motion carries. P5A, we have no conference requests at this time. P6A is tabled. That no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, okay. P6A, I'd like to put into the form of a motion the approval um, for the following individuals to be placed as long term substitutes in the positions indicated in the. Okay. Four four does a table with five four tables it. I would like to put into the form of motion P6A, the approval of permission for the following individuals to be placed as long-term substitute positions in as an indicated in exhibit S. Second. Question on the motion? Roll call. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mr. Lamon? No. Mrs. D'Andrea? No. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Beal? No. Mrs. Bortz? No. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four motion. Question on the motion. Roll call me. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. AAs? PAI's informational paraprofessional realignment is still being conducted for posting and bidding positions. An updated paraprofessional list for the 2019-2020 school year will be presented at the next meeting for and that concludes my report, Mr. Seven. Thank you, Ms. Smith. That's why the next curricular activities committee. Thank you, Mr. Seven. Good evening, everyone. I'm glad to see all of you here this evening. As you can see, we are deadlocked in a number of issues, but I'm very optimistic that we'll be able to work through these and in the very near future. At this time, though, I would like to go into the A and E one. I'd like to put this in the form of a motion to accept the financial reports from the boosters groups that will be exhibited you. Second. Question on the motion. Second. Roll call. Mr. Lehman? Yes. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Uh, no. Seven yeas, one nay. Under A and E 2A, I'd like to put this in the form of a motion to hire Mr. Pat Livingston as the head varsity softball coach uh, for the 2019-2020 season. Second. 
Request on motion. Roll call. Mr. Lehman? Yes. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? No. I'll just tell you why. Okay. These girls have had four different coaches already. Last, or a couple months ago, the whole team sat down here and wanted Mr. Raymond to their coach. He wasn't given the opportunity to have a second year with them. Sometimes coaches disagree with the girls, the girls disagree with the coaches, things happen. I believe these girls wanted Mr. Riggs, they were here, they're tired of all the drama, all they want is a coach. And I believe Mr. Riggs should have been still in there at that position where they're coaching. They're never going to learn if we keep hiring a coach every year. Why this man has not gotten the opportunity is beyond me. I just feel that he should have had the second chance. My vote is no, I'm sorry. Thank I have nothing Morris. against Mr. Livingston at all. Thanks for roll call. Mrs. DeAndre? No. Mrs. Ladd? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? What's the, what's the count? It is one, two, three, four, five yeas and two nays. So it's five, two? Oh, but yes. Six two. Under AB three, approved with request by Mr. Richard Colasar, the head varsity football coach, to use Matthew Shea as volunteer assistant, 2019-2020 season. Dr. Wallace, before I uh, put that in motion, are all the appointments? Yes, I'll put that in of motion this time. Second. Uh, I have a question. The motion of any volunteer coaches. It's my understanding we have a support motion at any time a new person is brought in as a volunteer or a coach, uh, they're supposed to be interviewed. Has this happened? My reasoning is because coach is actually hiring the person the school district's not hiring. Well, absolutely, we can now. We can table that and we can interview Mr. Matthew Shea. And so we, have have also, all. we have another one, too. Well, we can still vote on the motion and see if we carry Well, yeah, Mr. Shepard would like an interview for that. We absolutely can have an interview. Well, I, all, all I'm saying is that there was a motion and a new first-year coach Anybody he hires to be or volunteer, they have, even though they have their clearances, they must go through an interview with the superintendent, athletic director, and the chairman of the, uh, of the uh, athletic committee. Absolutely, we can do that. But we still have to vote on it. Where were we? Um, I have a motion by Mr. Lambin, a second by Mr. Raymond. So we're going to vote on it, and yet we can see yeah. Correct, right, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Lehman? Would you like to put that in from a motion then? You already have it in a motion in a second. Vote, vote, yes. Vote. Vote, vote, yes. Yes. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Pass. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. DeAndrea? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? No, I, I don't know what to say, but I think we're going backwards. I think we're going to vote for this gentleman and then we're going to interview him. I, you know, I'm sorry, I'll pass him. Mrs. Beal? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Mr. Seppin. Mr. Seppin. No. One, two, three, four, five yeas, two pass. I'm not saying he doesn't need the gentleman. I'm not saying that. We've had experiences before where a coach has brought somebody on, the board knew nothing about the person, and they were they were put on by board motion. Nobody uh, interviewed them, nobody knew who they were. So consequently, I just feel that uh, there is a motion to the fact that any new coach bringing anybody in, they have to be interviewed with the coach and the athletic director and superintendent, that's all. And that's a policy, and I agree with you, Mr. Okay. Mrs. Beal? 
Yeah. Motion did carry with this. So. A E four A approved the tenant contract with Kenny Wood to our Island School District to be held on Saturday, May 2nd, 2020. This is no cost to the district. I'd like to put that in the motion this time. Second. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. That concludes my report, Mr. Shepard. Thank you. Thank you. Legal advisement, uh, Mr. Frankhauser. Uh, we do have a few grievances that are at the administrative level, one that was at the board level that is going to be under continued discussion, and uh, we will report back to the board on those issues and no additional specific report. Thank you, uh, Mr. Frank Gauser, General Matters. Approve permission of Mrs. Beal and Kim Peck to attend the PSA, PSBA School Leadership Conference, October 16th through the 18th, 2019, in Hershey, Pennsylvania. The approximate cost is $1,950. I'd like to put that in the form of a motion. Second. Question on the motion, roll call. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mrs. Boards? Yes. Mrs. Glad? In light of our current economic situation, I respectfully vote no. Mr. Lehman? I'm going to vote yes, and I'm going to tell you why. The cost is $1,950. There are 17,000 taxpayers in our highlands that comes out to about one penny. And I think uh, the number school district can send a representative every year, and I think for the cost of that, Managing a $53 million budget, I think that's a good investment for us. Yes. And I would concur with you, Mr. Landman, both Ms. Beal and Ms. Pegg, receive a lot of very definitive information in regards to policies and procedures, but specifically on policies. So it's a good conference for both of them to attend with the amount of policies that we just renewed tonight. Every one of them was PSBA approved, and they are filtered through to the entire Commonwealth. Um, so I also stand by Ms. Beal and Ms. Pegg attending that conference. They bring back valuable information to us that we disseminate and use every day. Dr. Wallace, I would have to agree with you um, if you would have the opportunity to see the detailed report that Ms. Pegg brings back and just on the financial end of it alone and the legality if things change. It is such a valuable um, conference just with the material that they bring back. I think it is a cost savings. And last year, uh, when Kim and I were at the conference, there was a child from Morgan County that I got a hundred dollars gift certificate that was given to that child. There's a lot of things that go on, and you have to be there to stay and do. I put 17, 18 years in there. I don't have anybody in my family working in this school district, and I go to everything there is because I care. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Mrs. Uh, Mr. Raymond? No. Mrs. Santor? No. Mrs. Beal? Dr. Your vote? Your vote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Well, Suffolk? Yes. Well, Five We have to go to the agenda now. Wait, there's one more. Mrs. Ford, did she give her vote? Yeah. Do we have a report on the Correct Technical Institute report? Thank you. No intermediate report? Thank you, Dr. Uh, Wallace. Okay, the agenda. Yes, sir. I'd like the board. Uh, Consider a motion for the selection of a full-time kindergarten teacher to Clark Elementary School as a first-year teacher for terms of the collecting, collective bargaining agreement. I'll make that motion.
Hours and hours of work sessions. You come to a meeting, and we're stuck with this, this kind of situation. If I may, who is the administrative recommendation for the position? Okay, I make a motion for Ms. Brianna Valens for the first grade or full time full time kindergarten teacher for Clark Elementary. Second. Question on the motion. Roll call. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. There's four yeas and four pass. Does any of the passes wish to change? Yeah. Dr. Wallace, when do the students start school? First day of school was the 26th of this month. When are the teachers in their classroom setting up? That will be the 21st of this month. Okay, so we have no kindergarten at Hutchison, Hatfield third grade, Marshall first grade, two middle school English teachers, a high school transition teacher, a high school biology teacher, a middle school science teacher, a kindergarten teacher. We have nobody in those positions, and school starts in, in a few weeks. Is that correct? Okay, so I'm just making sure that everybody is aware of that. that those students that are in those classrooms will not have a teacher as of today. So we're dragging our feet on our students. We cannot expect our students to be successful and our teachers to be successful if we don't have teachers in there set up, ready to go on day one. Everyone knows that has been in a classroom that you don't just walk in there the first day and are prepared to teach. It takes hours and hours of evaluation and decision making to see what you're going to do to be prepared. Because the worst thing to do to a group of students is to walk into the classroom having absolutely no idea what you're doing. They sense it, they know exactly if you know what you're doing or not. So we need to be prepared. We need our students to be that our students are always behind the eight ball. Every single time in every single situation. And this is just making it worse. Even, even better than that, people came for interviews. We spent upwards of two hours in a work session yesterday, and we come here today with a list of names that we don't vote on. I mean, I don't like to waste time, and that's what we're doing. I would like to add that there was a lot of deliberation in there in the best place for all the candidates. This is no reflection whatsoever of any candidate because we had some outstanding. For me, it was just the best fit for each position. And I will tell you, one of the things that I take into consideration, even though I always, number one, put the students first, is the taxpayers and what is most cost efficient. I got the class numbers yesterday for kindergarten. There are 14 kids in some kindergarten classes. We have raised taxes. The elderly, people on fixed income, just got many of their taxes today. They cannot afford it. So how can we keep on spending at the burden of the taxpayer when I have all the confidence in the teachers that we have, all our kindergarten teachers throughout the district, they are outstanding, that to hire another teacher is in the best interest of the taxpayer. Dr. Wallace, these were replacements for retirement. Am I correct? So we weren't actually hiring anybody new. You are correct. These are positions that uh, we yeah. have not a retirement or designation. Um, it's already in the budget. We did not see that designation coming, but they hold in the um, teaching staff. And also, there is an influx of kindergarten students that do enter our district as per past practice, right? Correct. So that number will not remain in the I would like to add, being a person that has experienced for the last 13 years of specifically doing kindergarten registration, you do have an increase of a few students, and that's never um, a set number. But in my experience, you have withdrawals for kindergarten students that are considered no-show, and in many times, it is a balance out. 
So, to, no matter what way you look at it, it's a cost savings. Well, I, We're looking at to consort schools and to go to two elementary schools. Well, this would definitely be a plus and a bonus because then we could balance out each of the kindergartens equally. And in year, the past, we've hired aides in the numbers okay. for that long. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Mr. Stepping, I have I, all I, respect I, to have a voice. I, I understand. So we have gone through. She's allowed to talk. Excuse me. I do not appreciate being disrespected. I'm agree not, or I'm disagree. Not, I'm I, not, I'm not I respect you. every single person. You don't have to. You're not going to shout, shout. And I have a right to be respected, Mr. Stepping. I have a right to be heard. I have a voice. That's why I'm here. I think if the whole meeting's going on. Well, I'd like to make a motion to approve the fact area transportation contract. I'll second that motion. I have a question on that. How much does that save the district? Um, we stand to save well over $200,000 with this contract because right now, technically, this piece of transportation isn't under contract. We have special education transportation um, and, and a couple other pieces. This is strictly for homeless, so it, it, it's hard to measure. Um, but Mr. Barron did a great job of measuring this out and uh, figuring out what savings would be. Um, it, it is a very substantial savings to the district. Um, it is with the, the county transportation system, so we know that it's it's a good transportation system. Um, and like I said, the, the bottom line here is it's going to save well over. $200,000 if we would see the same type of numbers that we saw during last school year. Um, you're saving basically 67% by using FAC. Mr. Raven, I have a question for you. Sure. Uh, I'd like to always say you can where did you get your information from? Uh, Mr. Barron, in current rate that we pay is $77 per child, per student. I mean, uh, in fact, it would be $24, and that is in a contract signed off, signed off by the county commissioners. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Mrs. Board. Uh, we have a second, so. Roll call. Uh, Mrs. Glad. Mrs. Glad, second motion, yes. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Field? No. Mrs. Bortz? I'm going to say yes because if this is a $200,000 savings to the taxpayers, I'm going to say yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mr. Lamon? I'm going to pass and I'll tell you why. Uh, this was literally thrown on our lap last night, the first time that I heard it. I think Mr. Barron and I think it's a big plus we do save the $214,000. But there's a lot of legal issues and there's a lot of logistical questions that I have that I think that we could table this and have a longer discussion and actually make a vote on this. Myself, do I think it's going to be 114,000, 100% guarantee? I don't know. But I do know that the current rate is, I think it's $75, Mr. Raymond, might be right at 77. I think the new price is $25, I don't know, right now. How in the world a black bus can go from here to Pittsburgh with a student on $25. And also, not only that, the logistical problem of at what time did they pick them up, can they get them to drop off at the school at the same time, and when can they get them home? There's also those kids that have IEDs. So I have a lot of questions, but I think that we can have a discussion about this, get a vote on this another time. Myself, I may vote yes, I may vote no for it. I'm going to pass because I really don't have enough information to make it a, a, an accurate yes or no vote. So I just claim and I would also say that the the head of transportation is, is Mr. Barron. I appreciate um, that. And, and he did do his diligence uh, as far as what I know. And I just wanted to let you know that Mr. W Dr. Wallace also went through the contract to ensure that there are no contra contractual obligations. Is that correct, Dr. Wallace? You're correct. Mr. Raymond, I, I, I have no doubt about that, that they did that, but I just can't vote on an issue that I feel is that important with only a five minute discussion last night and then vote on this tonight. I don't know. It's a rush. We can 
you know, next week. But I think I need to sit down and have some questions. And I do hope to pay $214,000 on that. But again, I'm going to pass on that. I don't think I have enough information to vote on that. Do it in judicial problems, folks, and I just can't vote on that at this time. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mrs. Stanger, this, again, um, aligns with Mr. Um, Landman. This was thrown on us last night. We did have a work session, and tonight is our voting session. It's literally not even 24 hours later, 23 hours. Many of these decisions, including this one, are very, very important. And first, I'm all on board. You're saving us money, I'm in for it. But personally, I would like to do a little more research and see legality if we're okay. And that's just the way that I roll. And again, the last minute without me having enough time, I'm going to have to pass. But in the future, and if this comes up and it's a cost savings, I'm all for it. But again, I would like to apologize. Some of these votes are passes, but 23 hours is just not enough time to make an informed decision on many of these things that we've had to vote on tonight. What's the rule of roll call? I have one, two, three yeas, one nay, and three pass. I have Mrs. Santor, Mr. Lambin, and Mrs. DeAndre. Mrs. Santor has voted. Mrs. Santor has voted. Mrs. Ford has voted. Mrs. Ford has voted. Yeah. Okay. So Mrs. Santor? Yeah. So that's four yeas. I know I haven't missed that list or something. So it's four yeas, one nay, two pass. Redo the vote, please. Redo the vote, please. Okay. Mr. Ring? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Beal? No. Mrs. Bortz? Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Pass. Mr. Lamon? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. Five days, two pass, one day. Would the passes like to change your vote? No? Just leave it as it is? Motion carries five, two, one. Okay. Um, item number two. Let the board consider a motion. The selection of your full time emotional support teacher for the middle school as a first year teacher for the terms of the collective, bar collective bargaining agreement. Mr. Lambert. I'll make a motion for Claire to be a full time emotional support teacher for the middle school. I don't know how this is going to go, but. Staffing. Question on the motion? Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? No, because we did not make an interview for emotional support teacher. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. DeAndrea? No, again, we did not interview specifically for an emotional support position. Mr. Lehman? I will note again that the interviews were for the kindergarten position in Clark. There were no interviews for the full time emotional support teacher. Question probably more for a kindergarten teacher and not for a middle school emotional support teacher. So I want to vote no. We do not have interviews for the emotional support teacher. So I don't know. Mrs. Bill? No. Mr. Suffolk? I, I wasn't at the interviews, and uh, we had uh, one board member, Secretary of the Board, Dr. Wallace. Mr. Gatiss, two principals were present, and one was verbally present and with his input. I accepted their I accepted their recommendations, so I, I have to vote yes for the recommendations. That was a recommended person. Motion carried. Motion carried. Motion does not carry. Okay, I'd like the board to accept with regret, the resignation of Ms. Karen Yurchik, five and a half hour cafeteria helper at the middle school, effective immediately. Ms. Yurchik had one plus years of service with the district, and uh, I'd like to say that she did a very nice job. Uh, she'll be missed. We have a motion to accept her right? I'll make a motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. 
I'd like the board to consider a motion to post the vacated cafeteria position just vacated by this year, Chip, five and a half hours. Second. Question on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Um, once again, we're here at um, a request by Mr. Colasar, head varsity football coach, to use Mr. Nick Grab as a volunteer coach. We're going to interview the other one. I'll interview that one too at the same time. But uh, I'd like to put that, or I'd like the board to consider a motion to approve that. That would be fine. I'll make a motion to approve that. Mr. Grab? Second. I'll second. Question on motion. All those in favor? I have, to, uh, I have to abstain. Um, I'm related to Mr. Grant. Roll call then, please. Mr. Lemon? Yes. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mr. Raymond? Abstain. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? Uh, what's this gentleman? He was a coach last year. No, we're going to. He was, he was a volunteer coach last year. If he was a volunteer uh, last year, that, that suffices. Yes, that suffices. That's the information I was given by Coach John that he was a volunteer coach last year. Just finish the vote. Uh, Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. Seven yeas, one abstain. Yes, seven, seven vote yes, uh, one abstain. Okay, Mr. Suffolk, I do have two write-ins that came in this afternoon. I'd like the board to consider a motion to approve Ms. Gina Miller as a cafeteria substitute, pending her medical physical. All of her clearances are in, everything else is in, but we do need subs very, very badly. The only thing that we're missing in her file is a physical. Uh, once she brings that in, her file will be in. Second. Question of motion, roll call. Mrs. Glad? Yes. Mr. Lehman? Yes. Mr. Raymond? Yes. Mrs. Santor? Yes. Mrs. Beal? Yes. Mrs. Bortz? Yes. Mrs. D'Andrea? Yes. Mr. Suffolk? Yes. Eight yes. Okay, I'd like the board to consider a motion to have a special meeting on Tuesday, August 13th, 5 p.m. in the board conference room. I'll make a motion. I have, a, I have a question. Sure. That's, a board, that's a meeting or is that a work session? I would, I would, imagine, I would imagine it would be an action meeting or should act on personnel matters. I have a question. This was not discussed this date and I'd really like to be a part of it because I think it's such a valuable opinion that we all make. So either prior or after because we have commitments. Many of us are, have already had the plate family plans for vacation. First, that I'm hearing it up here. Okay. I think it's the first time we're all hearing about it. Yeah, so I think that we, you know, we need to get together in a date that we are all here because I know that there were several people that were not here during the work session tomorrow, um, yesterday, and I personally would like to have everyone's input there. Okay, let's scratch the motion and I will poll all board members tomorrow in regards to dates and times of availability. Does that work? Yeah. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries.